Welcome to the Treasury Update Podcast, Coffee Break Sessions, presented by Strategic Treasure. The show where we cover foundational topics and core treasury issues in about the same amount of time it takes you to drink your cup of coffee. I'll be your host, Jonathan, media production specialist here at Strategic Treasure. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Today, we are going to talk about the difference between augmented intelligence and artificial intelligence. Before I get into that, you might be wondering what happened to our other host, Jason Campbell. Where is he? But um, he's had way too much coffee, so he handed it over to me. (laughs) But up, boom. I have with me today Craig Jeffrey, managing partner here at Strategic Treasure. Welcome to the show, Craig. It's good to be here. All right. So, Craig, let's start off with, can you tell us what is augmented intelligence? That's a good question. I thought I was going to get easy questions considering we're recording on a Friday. But, you know, augmented intelligence is a term, a phrase that's used to describe how humans and artificial intelligence can be used to support uh, typically decision making. So how can you support your own intelligence uh, with, you know, augmenting or supporting it with additional intelligence, usually artificial intelligence or additional data that helps, um, you know, this could be done in different ways. It could be used for, you're in a shopping cart and they, they make suggestions about other purchases you might need to use. They do that all the time. Well, that's culling information and it's uh, providing additional intelligence and using the AI to bring that forward to help people make decisions uh, instead of forgetting something that's brought forward. That could include other things in the finance area, like related to investments. Okay. So is that different than artificial intelligence? What is artificial intelligence? Yeah, artificial intelligence is using machines to think like, to go through data and to provide thought that that mirrors or mimics human intelligence, the ability to synthesize and analyze data to as closely mirror it as, as can be done. So augmented intelligence is serving up information, patterns, commonalities to support a decision process, and artificial intelligence uh, is detecting patterns, trying to provide Uh, different types of thought. There's different levels of artificial intelligence from here's patterns, here's something that's anomalous or out of sorts, uh, or here's something that humans need to look at because there's a significant variance, as well as expand that to include things like generative AI, artificial intelligence that makes deeper connections between things, analyzes things, synthesizes different elements and data points together, and comes up with new new insights, uh, whether it's in written form, like most generative AI that people are using today, or some of the AI that I know you like to use to create pictures from all kinds of uh, you know ideas and, and words that are put down. Oh yeah, AI is coming out everywhere. Every work environment is going to be using it in some way or some shape. So how is Treasury going to be using these? If we think about artificial intelligence or we think about augmented intelligence, we've all long wanted dashboards and treasury dashboards and current information has been quite popular. You think back to uh, the time when some of these workstations, display stations would show markets that are trading, whether it's Bloomberg, uh, Reuters, these different terminals would share up to the date, current information, FX rates, bond offerings, um, changes in risk ratings. This gave very current information, which, current intelligence, current information uh, allowed people to make better decisions, uh, more informed decisions. So that continued process of more information about what's happening, but also information that might be more predictive when you think about artificial intelligence. If it's detecting patterns, changes in rates on, on the investment side, or detecting areas that could identify potential fraud, or potential risk or increasing risk, those all factor into what Treasury cares about. You know, protecting the organization's assets has a lot to do with risk and control, preventing fraud and optimizing earnings. And so that's a, that's certainly an area that Treasury will do more of. And this is a, just a continuation of what's been occurring for multiple decades. The tech makes it easier, makes the process faster. Okay. So to sum it up, if you were to say in in one simple sentence or maybe two. You're asking the wrong person for one sentence or two. That's, that's somebody else. 
Okay, in the least amount of words you can say, what what would be the main difference between the two, augmented intelligence and artificial intelligence? What would be the big differentiator? Artificial intelligence is the machine thinking and providing the data, providing that type of thought that could be acted upon. Augmented intelligence is much more integrated and part of the collaboration process, part of the decision-making process. It's, it's there. Okay, that's interesting. Anything else you want to share on this? Well, the only thing, it's not really augmented intelligence and artificial intelligence by itself. It's you know, spending some time, you know, whether you're in treasury or another area of financing, a financer, you just love this podcast, working with artificial intelligence, things like chat GPT and other tools. Um, I think we can be so distracted, not just working with those type of tools, but we can spend too much time, not have a disciplined mind with things like what are those called? Uh, video shorts, all these things that are designed. We're using artificial intelligence in so many ways to distract people and get them just watching nonsense. And so we have to take control of our lives and our minds. We have to have discipline of the mind and our time. And that's uh, that's really crucial. The other is we have to think about how we can leverage this as a tool, not to waste time, but as a tool to optimize what we do in treasury. And I'll give you just one example. What's an area or topic that people in treasury spend the most time on, would spend more time on, have management talking about <clears throat> this is forecasting people would would do more and would spend more in there and so how do we how do we use that so we have to spend more time thinking about that and doing it well but we have to have i'll call it augmented intelligence or artificial intelligence as well to help us do better there those are a couple areas i think are vital for treasury professionals to discipline their minds and time to use tools properly and not let tools run us into the ditch. So using AI to free up your time to do things that are more important, not just other things. And then using AI to create things on the creation side that are better, not just more things, not just use it to create more. Yeah, that was said far more succinctly than I was, but yeah, that's, that's good. That's the two or three sentences. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me for this episode of the Coffee Break Sessions. To our listeners, Remember to tune back in every first Thursday and every third Thursday of the month, and we'll have a new episode for you. Thank you, and have a good rest of your day. Cheers. This podcast is provided for informational purposes only, and statements made by Strategic Treasurer LLC on this podcast are not intended as legal, business, consulting, or tax advice. For more information, visit and bookmark strategictreasurer.com.